Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this quick tutorial, I want I hope it's quick, I want to show you how to work with constants in your front end. So you can like do if conditions or something and uh, cases and everything like that just in front end and you just easily can edit your constants in your constant editor. This for example is, is really good when you have a multi-domain setup or a page where you just have to change your variables on several pages or under pages and use some extended templates or something. Yeah, and in this case I just want to switch the color just to show you how, how that works. Uh, just the color to another color code so you just see the text will be green or something. And how all that works I'm gonna show you after the intro. So first of all, thank you very much for all your feedback. Um, now I'm speaking in English because I don't think that's a problem for my German viewers because we can all speak English. And um, if you have a, have a problem or something or you want to tell me something, just write a comment. I'm there for you. And yeah, I just wanted to say that because uh, there were several viewers who just didn't understand what I'm talking about because I was talking in German. And yeah, German is a pretty bad language for everyone else who don't speak it. And I can absolutely relate to that problem. Another thing I did is I just um, yeah made, made a, the editor a little bit bigger so you can see better. Um, that's just because I got a 4K screen. And for me, it just looks absolutely okay when I work with it. But I can understand when the viewer wants to see the video or wants to see the code, he just has to zoom into the video. And yeah, that's not, not the point of, of uh, my tutorial. So yeah, in this case, I just uh, made it a little bit bigger for you. I hope that's fine. And again, if there's something you want to tell me or something, or you get some uh, uh, productive critics or something for me, just tell me. I'm, I'm really there. And uh, yeah, I, I really like feedback. So let's start with it. Um, how I said, I want to change the text color of my um, front end here. And, oh, I forgot to clear the caches. So this is uh, our tutorial, uh, our scenario. And I would just want to ch uh, change the color of all this text here. So it doesn't show gray, but like, for example, green. First of all, we have to go into our constants.typo script. When you work with the site package builder, the path is already created. For everyone else, you just have to create a configuration folder, typo script, and that uh, in, inside of there, you got your constants.typo script. Now we scroll like to the bottom or wherever you want to have this constant, and we have to create uh, our constant with, you, you, you could just easily write a font color is like re uh, equals red and that's it but uh, for our constant editor we have to do some syntax because um, you want to have it like a little bit cleaned up or much better to understand in my case i just want to create you can do whatever you want inside of that um, like you can write settings uh, for my ext now let's let's write something logical settings dot site now i have it site package dot settings and in that case we make curly brackets and now i write my variable inside of that um font color will be plenty enough and now you can just leave it like that or you can set a default value in my case i just want to have uh, the same color like gray or something. I don't know if it's gray uh, uh, currently, but um, yeah. But let let's make a let's make a hex code out of, out of that. I think that's much more understandable. So this is some some gray. I don't know. It's it's not not light, not dark. It's it's an, in the, in the middle. Now I got my constant written, and when I go to the backend and watch into my like object browser, I can see under constants that I got my site package, settings, and font color. It's it's set already. But I want to like work with it in the front end. So this brings me nothing right now because uh, my setup won't show it. And without uh, this information, I can't work with it in my front end. So I have to go into my setup.typoscript and create in my Fluid template, I got here page.10 
equals a fluid template and 10 value is uh, like where I have to write my variables. And yeah, that's the point. I just have to write variables. And when I got multiple variables, you can easily like write uh, font color or something. Then you give the variable already to front end, but I want to have it a little bit more cleaned up. In this case, I just do it with curly brackets and then I write uh, font color. And now I have to define what this type of font color will be. And it will be a type of text. And the font color dot value, that is the value what we see uh, in front end later on, um, this will be the constant that we have already created here. So this starts with side package dot settings dot font color. In this case, because it's a, a, a constant, we have to make it in this syntax. That's a curly bracket, a dollar sign, and uh, yeah, our constant that we have just created and the curly uh, bracket to close it. That's how you work or how you get the information from a constant in TypeScript. Now I've saved it and th this should be it. So now you can just uh, like add a variable, uh, work with a variable in your front end. I just add fdebug and just put out every variable that I uh, that I got in my front end. When I write all, you see every uh, variable that is available in your front end. And now I just have to clear my cache and reload the page. And now I can see font color is already there in our front end. And now we can work with it. Now I can just easily say <clears throat> in my uh, default, I will just add some style equals and then uh, color and the variable that we are defining now. So I can just write something like uh, the font color inside of that with a curly bracket. Font color. And that would be it because now he changes the font color when I uh, clear the cache. You see the, the color is, is uh, a little bit uh, off now, but you can like make an if, an if condition or something. So when I write if condition and the font color, if that equals, for example, our color that we have just written inside here, that's AD, 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 not sure. Let me quickly check AD, AD, AD. When it's that value, I can do something else, like uh, whatever. Um, if then I can define a variable or I can say hello world just here. And if it's not AD, 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 I can just AD make an else and then hello YouTube will be the text. For example, you can you, there there are no no stops from you. You can just easily work with these variables right now in front end, and then you can make your page like work however you want it. And you can see already here is my hello world because uh, ad 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 is the color code. So now let me quickly check uh, change here the color to I don't know green. And now my text should be green, but I have to clear my caches. Now it's green. And that is really easy. But what if you got a really big page with so many pages or under pages, or you got a multi-domain setup or something, and you got multiple moderators and administrators and everything um, who just want to work with their settings that they need on their page. In this case, we can make it easy for them to use the constant editor. In my case, you can't see the information here right now, but I will edit right now because when you got just when you just have to go to the concept editor and change the values like this one here easily it's much much less work for everyone so let's do that quickly and in this case i just have to like write something over my variable and that's it that starts with cut means side package dot settings uh, equal site package dot settings and for example font color so when you want to make some ordering we just write something like that under that but you don't need to 
and after that we have to write what type that is so um in in the case when i go to the backend you see this is a type of string but here is type integer or oh, it's a range yeah that's that's better um so you can choose from plenty much types what uh, to choose here there are some uh, types of like a checkbox where you just can tick it and that means one or zero or something so you can um, also work with booleans in my case this is just a string so i say type type equals string and now we can add a label for that and that will be a little bit more explaining for somebody who doesn't work with like typo script or something he just have to see what that variable makes so in my case uh which color should be your container text so what i've done here is it shows this label before and after that when you got debug enabled uh, the variable name and in this case this is really good because when you got some uh, editors or something they will really thank you for that now i go back to the constant editor and now i should see my site package dot settings what we've already created here and the question which color should be your container text and in this case the default value is green but what if i want to change it right now so before that we had to go to our extension in the code editor like vs code or something and change that there manually in this case i can just change it to red right in the back end and that's that trust me that makes it much much easier for everyone who have to work with that now let me quickly check if that works and that works pretty fine what if i'm on another page so i just want to go to uh, linux and plesk in this case it just still shows me the font color but now when i go to linux and plesk and create my new uh, extension template here and change that setting to i don't know orange it's just for that page but i don't have to like uh, uh, ask for the page id and then change the color manually i just easily can change the uh, settings right the back end and i do I don't have to do anything else now it shows orange but uh, yeah the container is not uh, in the color so uh, don't worry about that one <laughs> that's a bad example uh, let me quickly go to i don't know um, downloads yeah here here's the color red so I go to downloads, um, create a new extension template here and change the color to orange, orange, save it, clear the caches, reload the page and now it shows orange. But on the start page, now it still shows red because I just created my extension template in that case. And it just will be the default color for like the page that you've chosen or the template that you have chosen that is a really really simple tutorial but it will help so many people when you got bigger pages i mean typo 3 is just for enterprise and when you just got very much uh, uh, creators and and moderators and everybody who writes text or everybody has to like um, work with the pages this constant editor will help them to make it much much easier and much much faster and if you like that video just give me a like if you got some questions just try write me a comment no problem i will answer them i mean uh, in, in this case i've answered like 100 percent of all type of three related tutorials and uh, if you got problems you can just join my discord and we can talk about that and yeah just try it yourself and you will see how easy it will be i hope that video helped you we will see you in the next video bye bye